So if you kind of look back on everything, what would you say is your been your proudest sporting moment? You ready to dream with me? Close your eyes. You're inside the Staples Center. The Lakers were down the whole fourth quarter by 16. If they lose this game, they will not go to the finals. Kobe has the ball at the top of the key. He crosses Scotty Pippen up. He goes to the lane. What is this? Is this a shot? No, it's a lob. The lob is too high. Oh my gosh, Jack comes out of nowhere and throws it down. He's running down the court like this. People asked me what was I pointing at. Before I left, my son was two years old. He said, Daddy, I want you to win. So when I threw the live from Kobe, I threw it down. He was sitting in the suites. I'm pointing up at him. That's my brother's moment. Amazing. Did you see that? No, but I have in my mind now. Okay, got it. So in a way, that was the key that unlocked the finals. Yes. Wow. Then we went to the finals and won the finals, then we won three in a row. So what would you say is your greatest strength off the court? Greatest strength off the court is making people smile. I speak every language. Like I can go to London and say, it's getting better. <laughs> I can go to a Jewish person and say, Shalom, Baruch Hashem, L'Shala Tova. I can say, Salam Aleikum. I can say, Ni Hao. Yeah. I can say, Como estas amigo? And I just love people. I love making people smile, especially children. I think that's my greatest strength. It's a great gift, that, you know. You can win trophies, but if you can make people smile, you're always going to be happy. That's the thing. Yep. You know, having retired, is there anything that you miss? No, not at all. I had my little window to where it was Shaq's league and where I was the, where I was the most dominant player. But like, like with any sport, you can't be the king forever. But the thing is, you were the king. I was the king. I was the king. I've done every, every wild and crazy thing I wanted to do. I met everybody I wanted to meet. I partied. I did this. I had every stupid fancy car. Now it's just time to just sit back, relax, hand it over to the kids and just continue to have fun. We had a really honest talk. You get reminded why he's such a champion on and off the court, the values he holds, the way he hasn't kind of gone to his head, and the confidence he has, that inner confidence is unshakable. That's what makes him Shaquille O'Neal. You ready to eat? Excuse me, Mr. Bear. Yeah. Black people don't like their steak bear. But I don't want you to get sick. That's why I like cook, cook, cook. You kill the bacteria. It makes you sick. What kind of sick? Like diarrhea, vomiting. Don't want to have diarrhea because I left my toilet paper in the room. Once you get over the fact that you're eating placenta, it's actually not too bad, you know? I bet. You know? The thing is, I've learned if you, if you burn it enough, it just tastes like burnt steak. <laughs> You're one up, my man. Appreciate it. Okay, good. 